We continue our in-depth look into the Common Core controversy here on the Gulf Coast. And tonight, Fox 10 News investigative reporter Renee Diles talks to some past and present educators about these new standards. Now, before we get to that, I want to give you an idea of what Common Core looks like in the classroom. And we're going to keep our example simple because I was never any good at any math. But when I was in fourth grade, I was taught to add three digit numbers from right to left. So 249 plus 372, we would add the individual columns, carry our extra number, and we'd quickly come up with the answer of 621. Now, the Common Core approach focuses on place value. So here you would add 200 plus 300 equals 500, 40 plus 70 equals 110, 9 plus 2, 11, and again, 621. Now, supporters of Common Core say this method helps to give students a better understanding of place values rather than simply adding digits and not really understanding what those numbers represent. Now, there are many educators who have high praise for Common Core standards, and we will be hearing from more of them throughout the week. But there are are also teachers who say they are as frustrated with the standards as their students. I talked to one retired teacher who is very outspoken about her criticism of Common Core. She says working teachers are afraid to speak out, but she is a member of a group of current and past teachers who think Common Core is a big mistake. It takes two of these to make one of these, okay? Mobile County Public School students are in their second year tackling Common Core math standards. What was our fraction for trapezoid? Eight what? George Hall Elementary Instructional Partner Tiffany Miller says these fourth graders must not only solve the math problems, they must also understand how they did it. So instead of giving them the answer, you let them be in charge of their own learning and just provide them guidance along the way. But retired teacher Francine Davis says she's hearing a lot of complaints from classroom teachers. They say that they're more rigorous, but there's no proof of that. They're totally untested and they're using our children as guinea pigs. Davis, who Taught in Mobile County for 35 years, says a complex learning system is being forced on students too early. Are you saying that we should trade this for 10 tens? Why would we? The standards in many cases, especially in early childhood, are not developmentally appropriate for the children. And so I find a problem with this, and of course the fact that it leads to the standardized testing. Uh, that incessant testing. Davis says many states adopted Common Core standards as part of a competition for federal dollars linked to race to the top. Now, most of those states, including Alabama, didn't get the money, but by then they were already committed to the new standards. So we put into place a set of national standards all the way across the United States that have never been tested, never been proved, and you know, there's no empirical evidence anywhere. It's giving kids the freedom to think and guiding them in their thinking, and hopefully in the end, they'll be able to apply that to wherever they want to go. Okay, do you agree or disagree? Dr. Miller says the common core standards students are learning in the classroom will take them much further than the old way of learning. You have to be able to communicate with other people, you have to be able to come to a basic understanding, you have to be able to pull all the information you have from various sources and apply it to a problem, and that's all we're teaching. We really can't afford to wait another five or ten years down the line to see if this works, because, I mean, in the meantime, what happened to my grandchild, what happened to your grandchild along the way? You know, we just can't afford to do that. But right now, Common Core is the reality for thousands of children on the Gulf Coast and across the country. And tomorrow, we'll talk to one mother and her sixth grader who say they are both struggling with Common Core. Wow. So, you know, are some grades having a harder time than others with Common Core? Definitely. Everyone that I seem to talk with say the lower grades seem to be adapting much better than the higher grades. And that's because these young children have never been exposed right. to anything else. But the older the students are, the more challenging it seems to be for them to shift from the old standards to the new. That makes sense. Now, if you want to see examples of this, where should folks go? Well, we have some examples, additional examples, posted on our website, fox10tv.com. The link is just to the right of the main Common Core story on our home screen.